France began picking itself up Friday from another deadly shooting claimed by the Islamic State group with President Francois Hollande convening the government's Security Council and his would-be successors in the presidential elections campaign, treating carefully before voting this weekend. Investigators found a pump-action shotgun and knives in the car of the gunman who targeted police on the Champs-Élysées and we were working to determine whether he had partners. Nous sommes convaincus que les pistes qui peuvent conduire à l'enquête et qui devront révéler toute la vérité sont d'ordre terroriste. This morning, President François Hollande met with the Prime Minister Bernard Cazeneuve and the Minister of Interior in a special defense meeting which had has reviewed already extensive election security measures and the Paris shooting. À la veille d'un rendez-vous majeur, j'en appelle bien entendu à l'esprit de responsabilité et la dignité de chacun. Il nous appartient de ne pas céder à la peur, à l'intimidation, à la manipulation qui ferait le jeu des ennemis de la République. This violence is likely to thrust security to the forefront of the list of issues concerning voters. The attack occurred while the 11 candidates contesting the first round were participating in the final TV debate before Sunday's vote. La candidate du Front National cherche, comme après chaque drame, à profiter et à instrumentaliser pour diviser. Elle cherche à exploiter sans vergogne la peur et l'émotion à des fins exclusivement politiciennes. Three of the main candidates, far-right candidate Marie Le Pen, her centrist rival Emmanuel Macron, and scandal-hit conservative François Fillon, immediately cancelled campaign events planned for Friday. Far-right candidate Marie Le Pen, who campaigns against immigration and Islamic fundamentalism, took to Twitter and declared in a press conference, offering her sympathy for law enforcement officers and condemning the attack. I call all Français, whatever their opinions, their convictions or their convictions, to unity. Une unité sans faille, une unité profonde, comme celle qui unit les membres d'une même famille dans l'épreuve. Une unité dans la compassion, mais aussi une unité dans la lucidité, dans la détermination à ne pas s'habituer, comme certains voudraient nous y inviter. Une unité dans le courage de combattre et bien sûr dans l'idéal commun de vaincre. Conservative contender François Fillon, who has campaigned against Islamic totalitarianism in a speech made Friday morning to speak against the Paris shooting. Les musulmans de France, dans leur immense majorité, veulent vivre leur foi en paix. Je leur demanderai donc d'aider l'État à faire le ménage contre l'intégrisme et l'obscurantisme. One of the key questions was how the attack that killed one police officer and wounded three other people might impact voting intentions. The risk for the main candidate was that misjudging the public mood, making an ill-perceived gesture or comment could damage their chances, with polling just two days away and campaigning banned from Friday at midnight, they would have no time to recover before polls open on Sunday. French officials declined to attach a motive to the attack, although they said police were deliberately targeted and that they were opening a terrorism investigation. More than 50,000 police officers are mobilized to protect Sunday's first round vote in the two-stage election with an additional 7,000 soldiers also on patrol. Rahel Hashem, reporting for KTV2 News, Champs-Élysées, Paris.